Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News, a very important episode, so please, if you're watching right now, please watch through at least the first three minutes. I want to warn you guys of some things going on right now, and I don't want you to get scammed out there by gambling or trading websites, so please be aware and look for time markers down below if you guys want to hear about this. The second story is very important, but first off, I do want to start off with actually CS.Money, a, a trading website out there, a very popular website. I'm also friends with one of the owners of that website. You guys remember this guy on screen, currently named Gucci. He's actually formerly known as Husky. He has about eighty dollars to $190,000 inventory which was trade ban you can see on screen as well as profile is trade ban but apparently a bigger attack I warned you of this a long time ago as well a couple weeks ago I had inside information that a big bot ban wave was coming and this is actually a part of it as of right now allegedly over 20 of cs.money's bots have been banned although you cannot see that on their public profiles we actually had this message from Gucci sent to steam to try and resolve the issue and one of the profiles he did link links back to one of his cs.money bots so as of right now that trading website has lost tens and tens of thousands of dollars I'll show you some of the weapons they have lost on screen screen right now a lot of higher tier skins as of right now it seems the higher tier skins are fluctuating in price a bit because of this but do not worry guys do not panic sell the skins price should probably level out sometime soon but even more importantly the most important story of today's episode of CSGO news is I want to tell you guys CSGO Reaper is a scam one of those websites out there that I honestly thought was the most legit it is almost hundred percent a scam especially for all the people out there who bet frequently I want to tell you guys exactly why thanks to this guy on screen I'll link his full video down below for all of you although it's not English there are English subtitles and please never use CSGO Reaper again it seems pretty obvious they are using their own bots their own private bots to actually come in on big bets and win them in the house generally most of the time so if you're a big better or any type of better out there they can snipe you at any time they want to prove this he actually had a lot of links I'll link all this stuff down below as well screenshots of their own bots and their profile pictures and them winning the bets on their own website they are using their own trading bots or they're actually on their own mule accounts to actually win bets so they can go on any bet they want they obviously know the percentage is going to win that bet you know shout out phantom lord for knowing percentages and they literally will take the skins away from any bet they want to want to if they're ever running a bot account they want to win a bet they say oh i'm going to go on that one i'm going to go ct side i'll use the bot account and you'll never know it because on the website you're never going to really realize oh i'm playing against a bot it looks like a real person so csgo reaper is 100 a scam please watch out guys i'll link the full video down below and thanks to that guy for doing us all a great favor i wanted to get this video out as fast as possible unfortunately though i don't upload until 8 a.m so his video hopefully is doing way better than mine and uh, yeah that was in huge news gambling websites are going downhill all websites are going downhill fast but if you guys do want like legit trading websites ninja swap is a great one they're one of my sponsors and also for a short amount of time the next few videos and thank you guys for the great support for sponsors actually reaching out to me it's because you guys watched the videos thank you to csgo.cash for sponsoring this video and the next few ones as well if you guys are going to panic sell you might as well do it with them and cash out your skins as fast as possible with csgo.cash they are down below on top of that though for all you fans out there of dazed and nothing we had huge updates on the on the future of days, AZK and Swag as a team. It seems as of right now, we've been clarified with this video. I'll also link it down below for all of you. Days had told us this. He actually had three offers of teams that are currently in ESL Pro League. Now, the fact about this is it's kind of funny and kind of a kind of a sad thing to see because him saying that, he confirmed himself, is there were three teams out there in probably North American ESL Pro League willing to ditch three of their current members right away for those players, the AZK, Swag, and Days to join their lineup. And he actually goes on in his own video and right, rightfully says, you know what, I would have done it for the right amount of money, but at the same time, it would have been a dick move, which makes a lot of sense. But I think it's more sad that those three teams are out there right now competing in ESL Pro League, and none of those players probably know, hey, like we could have been replaced, and they probably don't even know that. So on top of that, though, Days actually wants equity in his own team. He said that if any team out there offered him and his, his actual teammates, AZK and Swag, equity in the team, he probably would have taken the offer no matter what. And it seems from from now on, no one really wants anything to do with them because all they really have is no ESL Pro League. All they have is a few ESL events, maybe Mountain Dew League, maybe FPL, which is not going to pay you much money. He wants to start his own team from scratch, build them from the ground up, and maybe have some other organization out there offer them in the future. We'll see what happens there. But Nothing has also came out and said updates on his benching situation. That video will also be linked down below. For all you Nothing fans out there who think he's going to come back to CSGO anytime soon, it seems that's not going to happen. His updates actually mentioned the fact he knew his kick was coming or his bench was coming sometime soon. He just didn't know when it was actually going to be, and it wasn't an issue of rules. He could have played any role he wanted to. It was an issue of kind of an internal conflict there, and that's why he was benched for the time being. But expect this. In the future, he will be a commentator for several events. He's had several offers out there to be an analyst or a commentator, and that's going to be great to see. As always, that's going to be it for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. It was a jam-packed episode. I had to rush it out tonight, though, because I wanted you guys to know that CSK Reaper is a huge scam. I have some great stories, though, in the next few days for all of you, and I cannot wait to release them. So, as always, thank you all for watching. This means so much to me. Please leave a comment down below what you guys thought of today's episode, and I will see you all tomorrow. That is uh, probably the outro. Okay, well...